This is Daily Gold, let us begin. Okay, so starting off for today, I decided to go all the way back over towards Hellfar Peninsula in order to do the Blood Furnace. This was the last one of the dungeons in this zone, much like yesterday with Terracar Forest, and as such, with the Blood Furnace, it's fairly straightforward affair. I just beeline it to the last boss. Unfortunately, there is no way in order to get back to the beginning, so I had to use my Dreamwalk ability to get in and out of the instance once I had completed the, each run. And being it very, very, very linear, I can literally just take out all of the mobs without missing them pretty easily. That being said, with this one, I've got quite a bit to talk about, as we got a hold of quite a lot of different types of items that are worth quite a great deal. So, without further ado, let's get on to the results. Jumping into it and going in towards Worth It, I jumped over towards my farms, and if we go over towards Health Blood Furnace, we can see it's at pretty much the top of everything else. It actually performed a little bit better than Hellfire Ramparts. If we go in towards the Blood Furnace and have a nice little look at everything, we got quite a lot of different types of items. Obviously, we still have that overlap issue, but I did get a hold of the Pattern of Vengeance Wrap, which on my server is 17,499 gold, or a region market average for everyone is 34,999 gold. Nice. When that popped, I was just like, yes, okay, this, this is pretty dang awesome. However, when it comes towards everything else, I did get a design of the Brilliant Living Ruby, which comes up at 250 gold on my server, but on the region market average is 2,615 gold. I did get a couple of blessings cards, we got the Pendant of Cunning, another design pattern which is 1647 or 1183, and along with that we got a load of different types of items all worth stupidly weird prices. The Long Beard Rifle, for some reason on the region market average, so the region's average is 88,797 and it has a little bit higher than a standard transmog sell rate as well at 0.003. I'm looking at this and on my server it's 1,984 however on your on some other servers on the region market average 88,000 okay interesting to say the least when it comes towards all of that. However, if we do go down everything else, it is loads of padded items, much like Hellfire Rampart. I didn't expect anything different, as it's pretty much a, another standardised dungeon from the beginning of TBC, where Ramparts and Blood Furnace are just spammed like crazy. So I'm not too surprised that some of the items are pretty much all the same and some are a little bit different. If we jump in towards everything else, it's very handy to see that everything added up quite nicely with that. So let's just jump in towards our auction house as I believe my auctions will run out eventually. And we type in blood furnace and it comes up for me on my server after my entire run of Blood Furnace. It comes up for me at 74 items at 100,845 gold for my entire run. You can see that like, some of these items are just like 11,000 gold, uh, 17,000 gold, 1,700 gold, and it just really just stacks up with like the Windstalker bow at 26,000, and it just adds in that way. That being said, it's quite nice to see a load of different types of items being able to be dropped. We got a lot of the Dark Crest stuff, and that one actually tends to sell quite nicely. However, the value isn't that great, but I know that the, that set sells, so nice. But if we jump in towards everything else, we can see a full overview of 695 items on the auction house at a total value of 1.89 million. Nice. And if we go in towards our mailbox, we actually got some decent sales for today, which we sold the Stonebreaker Sabatons for 1,157 gold, the Mistwalker Boots 
for 9,682 gold, as well as the Blood Spiller for 3,230 gold, along with a few other different types of transmog items, equaling in 16,286 gold for today. Not bad, as we're getting more and more variety on the auction house, we're gonna start seeing more regular sales in that regard. So we'll pull that all in, and that will bring us up to 224,893 gold going towards this and you can see that nice little uptick right there so quite happy with all of that and with all that being said if we go in towards all of this we can have a nice little look at everything else I type in my Mr Walker boots so I can find them right here and I'm quite happy with that sale right there if we go in towards TSM grouping operations, I can't actually remember what dungeon I got the Mist Walker boots from. And with that being said, with that item of the Mist Walker boots, we managed to actually get those from Sunken Temple. So I just had to do a quick search to remember where they actually come from. So that Sunken Temple piece of item actually sold. Nice, we only found that like a week or two ago. And if we go in towards our data sheet, I did just update it with the one for today, which is the Blood Furnace. I added that in towards there. And we have the Architraz, Botanica, Mechanar, and Slave Pens, along with du -du -du Steam Vaults in order to do. So wait, actually, never mind, Botanica's already done. And that being said, that data sheet is of course located on the discord if you under info if you want to use that then please feel free and with the worth it beta that is on the patreon if you guys want to check out other than that i'm pretty much pumped for today so i'm going to get cracking start farming and get everything sorted for today and one little side note is i see i've had to answer this comment like quite a lot in the past like week or two and i've noticed a couple like a lot of you guys asking I don't use a auto loot add-on like faster loot I it merely is me just clicking the mobs and just looting them with auto loot on and I just speed up the video at the beginning of this video that you see of me actually doing the run that's why it seems like I'm using an auto loot thing but realistically I've just sped up the video and uh, yeah other than that, take it easy and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.